When two different species breed, we call this hybridization, and this often leads to the offspring being sterile. But what about in fish? Hybridization occurs when two closely related species spawn together. It's mostly seen in freshwater fish, as marine fish tend to have more room to avoid hybridizing. The most common cause is poor spawning habitat availability, forcing fish to breed in small areas and inevitably some will mix. Although many mammalian hybrids are sterile, this isn't the case for cyprinids and many can indeed breed, adding confusion to some of the fish ID when you have a roach with a quarter bream in it. In some cases, DNA tests are the only way to be 100% sure, as is the case with crucian hybrids, as they will mix with goldfish and gaibal carp, which can be very difficult to tell apart. I should also note that hybridization is not an exact science, and not all hybrids will look the same, with lots of factors coming into play. For example, a male roach crossed with a female bream will look slightly different to a female bream crossed with a male roach. So in theory, you could have a roach bream hybrid crossbreed with a roach and the offspring would be one quarter bream. This means that a venue that has species that can hybridize, you could never be fully sure if they are totally that species without genetic testing. It's easy to assume it's a 50-50 split of features also, but nature doesn't work like that. So some truly weird and wonderful fish can be thrown up. I think most people who have spent enough time looking at fish like myself start to know when something isn't right, with a fish's body proportions, colour and general appearance. In bird watching, it's called the jizz. I'm not sure what the fish equivalent is, but you get to the point where you know you can sniff out a hybrid. To be honest, as long as the fish shows all the obvious signs of it being that species, then that's good with me. Does it really matter if a roach has 5% rud in it? Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you can subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video, it really helps me out. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.